I'd like to show you the latest restoration we've done here at Allison's Automotive. It's a 1981 Fiat Spider. Uh, you can see from the front that uh, the most noticeable thing is we did a bumper conversion using the Harrington stainless steel bumpers and this makes it look like the earlier model spiders. One of the things that has to happen uh, when you remove the the double tube front bumpers is you have to relocate the parking lights and the turn signals. On this car we've used an LED light uh, down below the headlight for the, for the uh, turn signal. It's a three LED so it's plenty bright enough to be used for a turn signal. The parking light is incorporated into the headlight. It has an eyebrow at the bottom with an amber light. And this is uh, an H4 uh, bulb in the, in the beam. It's a tri-bar and it's got a reflector in it to make it uh, a pretty bright light. This car also had uh, fog lights installed in the grill and uh, we used a honeycomb 1969 style uh, grill in this car give it keep in, in uh, line with the earlier look this car also features our fiberglass front spoiler uh, the paint on the car was done at Mejia Auto Body in Upland and it's a red from the 2013 uh, Fiat 500 it's a deeper red than Fiat originally used on the spiders as we go around the car you can see we've also deleted the original rectangular parking lights and gone with the European style round uh, amber marker lights. This car also features Rota 15 inch wheels on it. That's so it can accommodate our big brake kit. We used our Willwood big brake kit on this car. It features 10 and a quarter inch vented rotor along with a four piston caliper. We've got 20550 tires on this car. We went with the Neato, uh, Neo Gen tires. They're a really sticky tire with an aggressive tread and uh, give great wet weather performance as well as summer. So the body was completely stripped down at Miha Auto Body and uh, it didn't need extensive body work but every panel was straightened and uh, the marker lights filled in as I mentioned. The emblems uh, you see on the car are available uh, on our website. This is one of the products we offer. Chrome was all redone on the car at X Metal Finishing in Upland. And you can see the uh, rear bumper conversion kit with the bumperettes. So underneath the car we rebuilt both front and rear suspension with urethane front bushings, uh, urethane bushings from Super Pro. And this is a street urethane, so it gives it a really solid ride without being too harsh. The car also features ADCO sway bars front and rear and Boltland lowering springs. So the stance on the car is the same as the European cars, lowers it about two inches. Gives it a really good ride. So we move to the interior of the car. The interior was done at Collins Upholstery in Montclair and they've done numerous Fiat's for us and our work is just outstanding. So as you can see they made a custom boot for it that fits really well using the same material as the seats and the door cards. In the back we used our uh, rear seat lead package that uh, uh, mimics the 84 Spider, so it's got dual, dual storage compartments underneath. These are carpeted on top. Under the boot in the rear package, uh, rear seat tray you can uh, it's hard to see but we've got JVC 5 inch speakers back there to help push the sound forward so you can hear the, the stereo while you're at speed. The color of the interior on the vinyl is buck and the carpet we use is called sand it's a marine carpet so if it does get wet uh, in a rainstorm with the top down it's not going to get moldy. We used a black trim uh, binding on the carpet to make it look bold and kind of make it jump and, and the effect is really nice I think it gives it a really bold look so we also made a one-piece uh, wood dash for this car it's outfitted with VDO gauges all the way across and these uh, these interior pieces the dash uh, radio console and lower console are all the fiberglass replacements that we offer in our in our web store and in our eBay store. The radio console uh, contains a Sony uh, media center 
So it's got an iPod dock inside and also Pandora built into it. Uh, we mounted a USB charging port as well as a regular 12 volt charging port down in the center of console along with the fog light switch and the, uh, the hazard switch. The steering wheel in the car is an NRG item that we offer. It's a 365 millimeter, so it's large enough to uh, not increase steering effort by, by most of the small wheels that are on the market. And it's the one wheel we found that that uh, has a light wood finish, so it complements the uh, the stain on the dash and the and the console really well. And it definitely is a vintage look with the uh, three spoke design. We've added LED lights on each side of the center console as courtesy lights and they're certainly bright enough to light up the whole interior. So let's move under the hood. We rebuilt the two liter engine in this car and it features one of our aluminum lightweight flywheels. It's got 10 to 1 compression ratio with Ross forged pistons. It features our adjustable cam gears on it and also our cold air intake our big aluminum radiator kit that adds a gallon of coolant capacity to the system uh, the powder coating was done at uh, Young Guns Performance Coating in Rancho Cucamonga they do all our coating for us and they've coated the, the upper timing cover that we built uh, the plenum and the cam covers and of course our exhaust system that's on the car. The system is one of our spider stepped headers that adds 